Hey guys, O9WMS here again. Got another unboxing video for you guys. Today we have the uh, Hydro 5s, the great version. So I guess you, I guess it'd be retro. Let's see, get its true colors. Just focused right there. And that's wrong again. Let's go ahead and focus right there. And no. Well, I don't know if it wants to focus today, so. Right there. Alright. So its colors are white, black, new emerald. Uh, yeah. Made in China. All that good stuff. Retail for $52. I actually got them for 40 bucks because they were the display model at Hibbets. As it says right there, it was their last pair. And all oh, whatever that other stuff means. So, and I also got a pair of the um, Air Force Ones. They're in navy blue. Picked those up at my local store here in Virginia. Athletic Annex. It was $100 and they retail for uh, $100 also. So, yeah, I paid retail for those. So, we're going to set... Um, the Air Force ones to the side. Look at the slides first. Here's a little, here's the box and everything. All that good stuff, kind of blank except for the tag. Here's the bottom. All that good stuff. And that seems to be it. I took the paper out of these because I am, um, I need paper for another pair of shoes that I'm getting ready to trade, so there's no paper in these. And here they are. I also have the socks with them, the uh, grape socks. Kind of just put them in here. I'll just get these to the side. I'll just put the box to the side too. And size 12. And here they are. Hydro 5 grapes. With socks, right there, there. All right. Yeah, I mean, really nice shoes. They're not the most comfortable in the more in the world because I mean this gel right here. It's kind of hard. Yeah, and they're almost identical to the Hydro Twos. I also have a pair of those. They're downstairs. They're pretty crappy condition though. So yeah, I've worn them twice. I think here they are on the bottom. Not too dirty. And I'll also show you the inside it has that little little carpet type feel to it. I don't know what you'd call that. This fabric stuff. Whatever you want to call it. Fabric. So yeah, and this is identical to the actual retro five grapes right right here, along there, that right there, that's also on the retro fives. Yeah, I guess they would be based off the Retro 5s, just in slides. Here they are together, right there. And uh, all together, it was probably about retail because the socks, the Jordan socks, I think they retail for 16 bucks a pair. I'm not for sure, but I actually had a special order of these. I think they were like $18 just for this pair. They're size large. Fits me good. I like them. Okay, on to the Air Force Ones. As I told you earlier, I got them at one of my local shoe stores. And that's all that great information right there. Right there. Okay, let's open these bad boys up. Here they are. Get both of these out of here. And we can just go ahead and set this box to the side. As you notice, the paper, it actually says AF1 on it and 82 because that's the year Nike first released the Air Force Ones was in 1982. Also, by the little, uh, I guess this is like a little clip piece. Also says AF1 and then 82 <clears throat> on both pairs. Yeah, um, as you see, still good. I have, I've worn these... Twice, three times, twice, three times, something like that. And they're still basically brand new on the bottom. 
and the sides and inside there's no sticker on there i don't think my shoes my feet don't sweat don't sweat that much hope i hope they don't anyway like air on the back it's stitched and it has air right there yeah it has little air pockets i guess your feet can breathe shoe strings and everything and here's the tag or the uh whatever this thing is called i kind of forget um i'll show you the tag pull those out um i don't know if you can see it i'll do my best to get it out it's right no, nah, y'all guys probably can't see it. Just regular Nike tag. Here's the, uh, what it says right here. Just kind of like the trademark information. All that good stuff. I can pull it out here. I don't untie my shoes, so. I don't know if y'all can read that. Yeah, just trademark stuff. It doesn't really matter what it says anyway. Who cares? Yeah, that's basically it. Um, they're really heavy, actually. I already knew that about the shoes, but they were more heavier than I expected when I tried them on and held them in my hand. So that's uh, not much on them being so heavy. Yeah, I also have an update on my last video about the uh, replicas of the Retro 388s and the... What are they? And the Retro 4 Breads, I'm actually trading them. There they are, all packaged up, ready to go. I'm trading them for, what did he say, 11, Retro 11 Space Jams and Retro 11 Concords. Um, he says he's going to ship them today, so I'll ship mine today, most likely. I'll ship mine most likely, and... Um, priorities we're both doing priority on the same day so there's no any confusion i guess and um yeah that's about it and um he's also talking about another trade i forgot to tell y'all another trade it's uh the air force ones and the grapes the grape slides and the and the socks for a pair of actual retro five grapes i think it's a little too good to be true I mean, this is like, what, 52 and 100, say so 152, so probably about 160 after tax, and those things are valued at like three, $400, so I don't know. He says he wants to do the trade, I guess, but I'm really just doing these right now, the threes and the fours, they're all cleaned up, and I'm going to see if everything's legit, and I'll sh if I get them Saturday... I don't know if I'll be doing a video Saturday or Sunday. It might be during the week. I just don't know. I've been really busy with schoolwork. But I've been off for the last couple of days because of snow. So I've been able to upload a few more videos. Hopefully I'll be doing one later today on my gun collection. And all that stuff. Good stuff you guys like to hear. Alright, I'm 90 WMS.